Oregon Cans, Nestle's Bottling Plan. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with Good News Next Week, episode 57, 58, for the week of November 13th, 2017. Coming to you, as always, from the Media Monarchy Studios, which I know you might realize these Good News Next Week videos never look the same way twice. They're like snowflakes and fingerprints in that way. <laughs> what I've realized is, since we've started the Media Monarchy stream, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Pacific Time at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. Click that link, it'll open up your iTunes, VLC player, WinAMP, Windows Media Player, you name it. And you've got news, music, memes, and so much more independent, non-commercial style. What I've realized, plug aside from our stream, that once I've been running that equipment, I can't tape good news next week with the good microphone and camera because that gear is running the stream right now. So we need to work behind the scenes on getting a little wish list together of some of the gear needs that we have. As I've been joking lately, Daddy needs a new pair of everything. But aside from all that stuff, I've got good news for you. Some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. This show, you know, is a spinoff from New World Next Week. And we're trying to bring you more good news in New World Next Week. This is the dedicated good news show. And we begin with good news sent by a Media Monarchy listener. I hadn't yet heard this story, which kind of blows my mind, and actually my wife as well. Neither of us had heard this story. This is why it's important to remember, never say, oh, you probably already know this. Not at this point. Not at this point. So a huge, huge, huge thanks to listener Pete over in Cascade Locks. As we begin, good news next week, with Oregon scrapping the water rights deal for Nestle's Cascade Locks bottling plant. Now, you've heard us report on this off and on throughout your morning monarchy over the last couple of years because voters voted against it, but we found out the city council was still going to kind of work with Fish and Wildlife and work with Nestle to make this happen in violation of the will of the voters. We kept noting all the other times you'd hear, despite the vote, Brexit, Nestle, you name it. Nestle Waters' plans to bottle water from a spring near Cascade Locks appears to be dead, and remember, appears to be is going to be the operative phrase. As our listener Pete told us, sneaky bastards do sneaky things, and we can't exactly let our guard down forever, but so far, this is looking really pretty positive, because I think they've pretty much now pulled up stakes, left their office, and driven their SUVs out of Hood River. In a letter to the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, Governor Kay Brown asked the department's director to stop the exchange for fiscal rather than environmental reasons. And again, everything we say and play will always include in the show notes so you can continue the research and do more for yourself. And of course, tell me and correct me where and if I get it wrong. The fires. It's quite possible the fires in that area recently made it a little less attractive and made the governor realize I've got to do something more environmental than financial. Also noted, and by Media Monarchy listener and supporter and patron, the Dealey Lama, he says, smart move, Oregon. Nestle screwed a water table he used to live on top of and includes an article from earlier this year from the old great lady, the New York Times, where Nestle guzzles water, Michigan neighbors take exception because they basically take all the water and usually pay like a dollar. They pay about as much as, you know, like General Electric and all the big corporations pay taxes. One other related story to this that was tweeted at us by, again, good Media Monarchy listener, Nicole Redu. She's on the tweets at Booze Leprechaun. And again, all our stories have hashtag good news next week. Beautiful. Buda, Texas voters axe plans to reintroduce fluoride to the city water. And that's another fight that we waged here in Oregon and more specifically here in Portland as we won the right to keep fluoride out of our drinking water. Again, if you want to put it on your teeth, that's great. It's in all kinds of toothpaste. Ingesting it, that's not so good. Our second story on Good News Next Week for this week comes again from our good buddy down under, Brock West, of course, also a video producer of New World Next Week and one of the hardest working guys in alternative media. And a huge thanks to him for, you know, I often say our band could be your life. This isn't any kind of inaccessible thing. I'm obviously some dude who likes to talk and play records and talk about the news. I've just been doing it for 12 plus years as Media Monarchy. Brock was essentially, not speaking out of school here, Brock was a fan of Corbett and Media Monarchy. He was into it. He stepped up. 
he slowly learned and got more involved, and now he's making all kinds of videos and making his living doing alternative media, and that's pretty much living the dream. So, living the dream, coming from down under, at Rock West tweets using hashtag good news next week, medical use of cannabis officially legal in Poland under new regulations, cannabis from imported plants can be used to make prescription drugs at Polish pharmacies. This kind of medicine will, however, have to be registered first with the Office of Registration for Medicinal Products. So, not exactly unmitigated good news, but a damn good first step, as we know that the toothpaste is way out of the tube as far as the new cannabis 21st century revolution goes, and there ain't no stopping it. Our final story we want to mention on this Good News Next Week episode, again, comes with caveats, as it almost always does. I think I was joking on the last episode of Good News Next Week that maybe someone will have to make the, the response episode of, here are all the ways that all these stories actually suck and they're not really good news. But I like to think that, again, it's a lot about the ideas, maybe not about the specific stories and the specific instances. They are mind viruses. That's what memes means. We've kind of twisted it into me. Oh, it's a funny picture with words on it, right? No, it means a it means a mind virus. It means an unstoppable, powerful idea. And I think those are the kind of things we hope to bandy about here in real independent alternative media. Test your hair for pesticides. New groundbreaking technology. This coming from detoxproject.org, working alongside Kudzu Science, enabling the public to find out their long-term exposure to a range of most of the pesticides used at home and in agriculture. Hair testing has been used in forensic science for the last 30 years, and we're helping to bring this expertise into the pesticide testing world. Our knowledge of long-term pesticide exposure will now change forever, and they've got a lot of, uh, you know, kind of PR and lots of video and lots of pieces that go along with this, and again, we'll include those in the show notes. We come at this cautiously because of all the other things we've reported on not the least of which on New World Next Week and the crisis of scientism and all the phony baloney bite mark forensic kind of evidence and lots of things that have put people away in the run for profit prison industrial complex for a long ass time. So this maybe is, again, I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater or choose your metaphor here. This might actually be a really good thing and my fears might be completely unfounded and not germane to how this kind of testing works. We'll just have to check it out. But again, putting the power of people to learn things about themselves, the kind of world they live in, and what pesticide garbage chemicals might be in their hair, we want to have that power ourselves. Speaking of having power ourselves, in closing on this Good News Next Week episode, I want to remind you, and you're watching this maybe on YouTube, we're pretty much just using our YouTube channel now to upload these Good News Next Week episodes. These are the most sort of low production value episodes, I suppose, for Media Monarchy, because we're essentially radio. I've always been a radio guy. It's tough to get into this new video world. <laughs> but YouTube's such a giant pain in the butt now, and of course everybody's getting all shut down. We've never monetized anything. Now, if you see ads or things on any of our videos, it's because some kind of clip or song that we have included makes them put some kind of overlay on top of it. Besides that, we're not worried about being demonetized off of YouTube because we were never monetized in the first place. We're non-commercial punk rock media. That's what we've always been. That's what I'm always going to be. So rather than keep running into difficulties with YouTube about the clips or the songs that are an integral part of media monarchy, you know, the real news remixed, we do contain some extra clips and music and stuff. It's just too much of a pain to put any uh, anything else on YouTube. So we're putting the Good News Next Week episodes up because they're good news that should be shared, you know, on the biggest platform, while it is still the biggest platform. Meanwhile, I want to tell you that we are putting everything, and that's your morning monarchy. That's an hour of uncensored news in the morning, which includes a song of the day, and your daily DJ set at noon. Another hour of independent media, but musical media. We're putting both of those each and every day, uncut, uncensored, all up on our BitChute channel, bitshoot.com slash mediamonarchy. Just put up today's episode today for November 13th. On Mondays, we talk world news. Each day of the week in Media Monarchy, we talk about a different subject, a different area of the news, hence all the hashtags. If you want to get involved, if you want to help us out, we would love for you to become a patron on Patreon.com as we're experimenting with integrating our Patreon support 
with our Discord chat and listen room. So if you go to patreon.com slash media monarchy, you can sign up for a way to get involved in the chat, listen, and take part in the media monarchy kingdom. And that's the way to keep us going. We've been independent for 12 plus years and running. As I've noted, the 10 first years, we essentially did it as our side job. The last two plus years, we've been working for you. MediaMonarchy.com slash support has the Patreon, the PayPal, the Bitcoin, the Monero, the Ether, and the good old classic post office box. We love to get records and cookies and support in the mail, classic style. And that's how we'll do it. This is Good News Next Week, episode 57 or 58 for the week of November 13th. Being thankful a little bit early, 2017. I am James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com, your host, webmaster, DJ, and so very much more. Again, as always, reminding you, like Jello Biafra of the Dead Kennedy said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.